This is the OM System HLD10 grip for the OM1 camera and OM1 Mark II. So I'm gonna unbox it quickly. There's a warranty card and also an instruction manual. It's a short one. I'll show this part here just so that you can see what it takes. So it takes a BLX1 lithium ion battery and there you can see the dimensions and the weight so 242 grams that's excluding the battery and the small plastic cover which comes on top of the connection terminals and then the operating temperature minus 10 to 40 degrees in terms of humidity between 30 percent and 90 percent and it's splash proof to ipx3 when attached to the camera and it's dust resistance to ip5x based on the in-house testing that they've done And um, that's all that comes in the box. So this is the plastic cover on top of the terminal. So there's this pin, which is to stop the camera from rotating. And you also have the quarter inch 20 screw there that screws into the bottom part of the camera. And that's to place the plastic part which you take off the camera when you want to connect it. In terms of the back of the camera, you have a lock lever and a locking wheel here so this lock is to lock the buttons here to not operate so that you don't press them by accident and this is to screw this quarter inch 20 screw into the camera and then you have a back button autofocus and then you have the rear dial for shutter or aperture or whatever you configure it to and then you have a joystick and on top and front here you have two buttons one for ISO and one for exposure or if you want to set it to something else and then the shutter button and the front dial so i'm going to attach it to the om1 and see how it feels so on the bottom of the camera you can see this plastic thing here so i'll take it off and this is where the terminal will connect to so the plastic part that i took off from the camera can be placed here so that it doesn't get lost have to press it in properly to make sure it doesn't interfere with connecting the grip to the camera. And then it's just a case of screwing in the quarter inch 20 screw to the bottom of the camera. One thing I would say about this grip is that this wheel here for tightening the grip to the camera is really thin so it's actually quite difficult to use so you have to exert a lot of force to make sure that it's screwed in tightly in terms of the feel of the grip in comparison to the grip of the camera it's more rectangular so if you look here there's less shape and this is the camera itself, so you can see it's thick here and it becomes substantially thinner here. Whereas on the grip, it's more uniform. Generally speaking, all the grips I've ever had, none of them feel as good as the camera or a single camera which has a portrait grip. But I would say the grip on the OM1 is bigger than the previous generation of cameras, so the, it's bigger than the HLD9 with the EM1 Mark III. So just to reiterate the spec of this grip, it's compatible with the OM1 and the OM1 Mark II. It takes only a single BLX1 battery. So there you see the direction which the battery can be inserted. So let me just insert the battery here and then lock it in place. And the grip itself, without the battery inserted, weighs 242 grams. So it's marginally lighter than the HLD9, which was the battery grip for the EM1 Mark II and EM1 Mark III. It can operate in a temperature between minus 10 degrees and 40 degrees and a humidity of 30% up to 90%. And it's uh, IP53 
weather sealed, so IPX3 splash proof when attached to the camera, and IP5X dust resistance based on the in-house testing that I've done at the OM Systems. In terms of the feel of the grip, it feels a lot more plasticky than the previous generation of Olympus grips. So it definitely feels cheaper, a lot cheaper actually. Particularly some of these things like the lock lever. And the other thing about this grip is that it doesn't have a DC port. So unlike the HLD9, which had a DC port, it doesn't have that. So the EM1 Mark III with the HLD9 grip had a DC port, as well as the EM1X, which this doesn't have. But the battery in the HLD10 grip can be charged via USB connection to the camera. So let me try that. So this is a USB-C connection going into the camera. And here you can see that the light on the grip has turned on and the light on the camera has turned on as well which means both of the batteries are being charged. So the battery in the camera as well as the battery in the grip. So this is something that wasn't possible on the EM1 Mark III with the HLD9 grip. In fact, that grip doesn't even have the LED. So even though this grip doesn't have the DC port, the USB-C works better with this grip. So just like the previous generation of grips, it does have a lock lever, but Unlike the EM1X, it doesn't have a custom lock option on this. And just like previous generation of Olympus battery grips, the battery in the camera can't be accessed when the battery grip is connected. So I think this is a disadvantage with all of the battery grips that are made for Olympus. Whereas I think a lot of the Canon and Sony cameras are designed differently, so you can still access both the batteries for the camera even when the grip is attached because you don't have a battery inserted into the camera and two batteries will be inserted into the grip instead. So one of the advantages of this grip is that it will make your landscape grip bigger. If you look here, it actually comes forward. So it's not as nice as the HLD9 grip or the EM1X. It's a little bit more uncomfortable because it doesn't sit exactly nicely on your finger. And the grips are actually quite big, so that's good. I like big grips, but some people prefer the grip on their EM1X because that's a little bit more ergonomic. So with the OM1 and the HLD10 grip, there's no option to power the camera without having batteries in it, which is something that was possible with the EM1 Mark III and the EM1X because of the DC port that you had. And in terms of buttons, you have the front dial, shutter button, exposure, ISO, and then you have the back dial with the autofocus button and a joystick and the lock lever. So I don't think there's much to say about this grip. It's a simple grip. The ergonomics are not ideal. So for example, here you can see that the grip is being cut short. Whereas if it continued all the way down here, it would give you a better hold. Whereas here you can see that your last finger won't get a nice grip. And I think this is because it's based on the design of the previous generation of Olympus cameras, maybe the EM1X, which had a DC port here. Well, on the EM1X, it would have been slightly different, but maybe it's based on that design, and that's why they have left it there, but without a DC port. So I'm not sure what the point of this is to curve it in this direction since it doesn't actually add any value and it takes away from the grip. And if I compare this to the HLD9 on the bottom part, you can see how much bigger it is. Slightly bigger. And the other thing I want to mention about this grip, and I think all the Olympus grips, is you have an option here to attach a hand strap. So you can run the hand strap here and then connect it using a triangle to the eyelet here. So if you wanted to do that, that's one option that you have there, which is quite nice. So you have the landscape grip and you can get a hand strap to connect there. And because the HLD9 grip is a little bit bigger, it's more likely that the camera will sit without falling forward. But I think I have a heavy lens here, so 
still does fall forward, but I think this is less than the EM1X and EM1 Mark III in comparison to the heavy lens that I have here. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to demonstrate anything with this grip or test anything.